Hello everyone, this is Aman Jaman from Techist365. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up V2Ray on OpenWRT router. So there's lots of video tutorials and as well as there's lots of documentation available online, but most of them are based on Chinese language. And as a result, uh, we don't have a clear idea how to set up op uh, V2Ray or such protocol in OpenWRT routers. So I decided to make one for myself. And this is what I'm sharing in our channel. So first, uh, here we have OpenWRT router. What you have to consider before you install V2Ray on your router, make sure that your router has at least 16 megabytes of flash storage available. If it's less than that, you're probably not able to install V2Ray. However, uh, if you have 4 megs of storage you can probably use xrot and then you can install lucy and other other stuff on the external storage and you can use it from there so which need a little bit of technical skill so i'll i'll try to make this video as much as possible for newbies so that um, they can install v2ray on their open router so here i'm using zbt v1326 which is 16 gigs of flash memory available and this router is compiled uh, for myself and and uh, I mean I, this the firmware is compiled by myself and everything is configured here already and I have internet connection here so I'm gonna log in my router and this is the IP address 10.16 uh, 10.1 and right now I'm using snapshot version so uh, if you like to use uh, v2ray i recommend to use snapshot and now here you have to you must need a uh, putty or ssh uh, client so that you can connect your router so be most of our task will be from ssh connection uh, whether uh, you eventually can install i mean you can perform this task on the uh, gui like in from here like software but i'm not recommending this uh, the system because you might might pro face some kind of of issues so this is why i'm going to use putty so i have putty installed so in putty you have to connect your ssh so even you can do it like so i'm going to put my router ip address 182.168.10.1 enter and i'm going to put my username which is root and the password is not set up that's why it's is automatically took me inside so i'm going to clear up the screen now first i have to install v2ray uh package i mean rep repository which is um, i'll post these comments in uh, in comment sec in comment uh, description so you guys can just copy paste from there so i'll just download the repo link then i will add the key for repository and now i'll add the feed inside the custom feed of openwrt enter now i'll update which is opkg update so this will take a couple of seconds Uh, one instruction here, I mean, uh, one notice here. Uh, during this process, we have to remove DNS mask and we're gonna replace it with DNS mask full version. So, in my case, I have DNS mask full already installed, so I will just, uh, just do it uh, just to show you guys. So, here we have package manager updated. Now, we're gonna, ins we're gonna remove DNS mask which is opkg remove dns msq no package remove because i don't have this one because i already removed it so you will it will remove eventually from your from your uh, from your router now i'm going to install v2 ray core mini mini version which is like 8 megabytes of, st of storage needed for that one and if you use the full version that's going to take 16 megabytes so you will need at least 32 megabytes of storage in your flash of openwrt rather otherwise you cannot install it so since i have this storage available that's why 
I able to process this one. It's installed. Now we're gonna go inside temp folder to save some storage and then we're gonna download the Lucy app version of, uh, of the V2 Ray which is this one and if I type ls you can see I downloaded the app V2 Ray 1.5.6 1 uh, today this is the version now we're gonna install that one opkd install Lucy app dash V2 Ray IPK It will download necessary packages and you will probably see a prompt that uh, it replaced the DNS mask so just ignore it because if you follow the tutorial accordingly the video it should be okay oh, by the way I'm using the latest version of the farmer that's why I haven't any problem so far but if you're using old version like 18 point or 19 point something uh, you will probably see some kind of exception so you have to you know, dig google how to fix this issue and since i'm using 21 or snapshot version which is uh, it's like almost up to date so i'll n i didn't have any issue here now we have open wrt i mean v2 ray is configured uh, installed in our open wrt router now we can actually use it from the um, web version so let's go to web let's log out log in now click on services now you can see v2 ray in here so here we're gonna set up the v2 ray so we'll go um, i'll quickly go all these tabs and configure as soon as possible so in inbound i'm gonna remove the socks proxy and i'm gonna edit the doku domo doku demo door actually it's called, it's called i don't know so the listen port is 0000 which is with your uh, internet route i mean gateway and docomo port tcp and udp both steam settings tcp and save here we're not gonna save and apply now and outbound we're gonna remove all of them because we don't need them we're gonna just import one of our uh, v2ray uh, mass link in here and then we can actually connect it in dns uh, since i have dns over https configured so we don't need that so i'm i'll just uncheck it if you need it you can keep it so save here then in routing so right now i'm not in china um i'm based on in asia right now so i don't need any jurisdiction bypass for china so i'm i'll just uncheck the chinese ip address and uh routing actually so direct bt you can keep it if you like to use BitTorrent something and uh, block s i don't need that i have already add block here so i'll just uncheck keep it unchecked route dns no i have dns in here so i i'm not gonna use route dns direct dns that's uncheck 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 everything actually balancer no i'll remove this balancer and save i'll check policies no policies here reverse no nothing here transparent proxy so redirect port to docomo doku demo door and i have wire guts i'll uncheck the wire guard. i'll keep only the lan and now the proxy mode is default if you guys are based on china then you should check any of these three so just save here now i'll go to the outbound and i'll import my v2ray configuration so i have a demo server running on uh, the up cloud so i will just import the app cloud configuration in here so submit link imported so let's just rename it to something app cloud singapore save now i'll go to global settings 
I'll check this three now and enable save and apply so it says not running so we'll wait a couple of seconds like 10 seconds then we'll reload the service then we'll wait another 10 seconds to see if it's start running so in case if it's unchecked we have to check it again and save and apply so now it's running so we will wait 5 or 10 seconds because it sometimes takes some time based on your processing power of your router it sometimes takes some time or uh, maybe it should be automatically restart by itself so it seems it's running now we're gonna check our IP address to check our IP address we will visit let's type what is my IP dot com so as you can see the IP address is showing the ISP is up cloud and this is the IP address of the server so this is all about today's video tutorial if you like the video please uh, subscribe our channel and if you have any kinds of question please let us know we will try to reply your queries thank you